CapCut isn't fully free anymore. Features like export caption and background remover are now locked on a paywall. So I tested six editing apps that are still 100% free. No watermark, no ads, and no export limit. So here is how I break it down. I ran all these six editing apps through the same text using 10 video features that actually matters to creators. Like, can you export in 1080p with no watermark? Does it give you auto caption and a proper background remover? Is there chroma key, speed control with color, and keyframe you can actually add? the net width so i check for transition and efforts how long your exports can go like over 10 minutes and how many layers you are allowed to stick to the timeline so if a feature is missing you will see it if that app kills it you also see it too so let's start with number six edit and instagram app it's a normal editing and not built inside instagram but you just need an instagram account to open it for the first time so i tested this using the same 10 features i mentioned earlier and this is what i actually found okay first watermark no watermark at all clear export 1080p yes it supports full hd without needing to upgrade auto caption yep it has it so go remover is there works with a tab chroma key nope it doesn't have any green screen feature keyframes only on the main clip overlay can be animated transition and effects yes clean and smooth ones speed control not available at all export duration maximum of 10 minutes anything longer you are stopped. Layer sticking. It can stick layers as many as you want. So why edit by Instagram gives you a clear experience with solid features. The lack of speed control, 10 minutes export limits, and limited keyframe control holds its back. That's why I ranked it number six. So the next one is Video Guru. It looks clean, easy to navigate, and actually surprised me, but it still have some few limits that you should know. So I tested it using these 10 features I mentioned earlier, and here is what I found. Watermark, no. It exports clear, no branding at all. 1080 exports, yeah, full HD is available for free. Auto caption, yes, but only for one minute. You have to watch and ask to use it. Bangla remover, yes, it works well. Chroma key, fully supported. Free frame, available, but it's just a basic animation, but it works fine. Yeah, transition and effects, they are, they are smooth and clean, but not super customizable. Speed control, only basic speed, no calf editing. Exporting duration, you can go beyond 10 minutes. No cap there. Layer sticking is just limited to three layers only. Yeah, video good works if you're doing short and simple edits. But once you want layered visual or more animated control, the three layer limit and lack of cut speed control will slow you down. And that's why it ranked five on my list. Next is U Cut. It's one of the most popular editing apps for mobile. It's lightweight, fast, and beginner friendly. I ran it through the same 10 features I mentioned earlier. And here is what I found Watermark None. It has a clear Exports without watermark, 1080p exports, yes. It handles full HD with no upgrade. Auto caption, yes, but it only gives you 10 minutes and you have to watch an hour to unlock it. Anything more than that, you have to upgrade. Program remover is not available. Chroma key, yes, green screen is supported. Keyframe, yes, you can add clips and elements. Transitions, transitions and effects, they are there and very smooth. Controls, speed control. Yeah, it has full curve speed control included. Export duration, no limits, works for long videos. Layer sticking, max of four layers only. So yeah, your cut is solid for the reels, TikTok and fast edits. But the lack of background removal and limited layers push it down to number four on my list. So next is InShot. It has been around and it has been one of the most trusted video editing apps for mobile creators. So I tested it using the same 10 features I mentioned earlier and here is what I found. Watermark, you have to watch an ad to remove it. 1080p export, yes, full HD is available for free. Auto caption, same thing, one minute limit and you unlock it by watching an ad. From ground remover, yes, it's built in. Chroma key is fully supported. Keyframe, fully supported. You can animate your clips and overlays. Transition and effects, clear and polished. Speed control, yeah, it's half curve speed control. Export duration, no limits, longer video just works fine. Layer sticking, you can use up to four layers maximum. So overall, each shot is flexible and it have a lot of rich features. But the constant need to watch and ask for basic things like captions or watermark free exports is what holds it back, and that's why it lands as number three on my list. Next is VN video editing app blog now video editing app this one has been trusted by so many youtubers filmmakers and 
Zuria Creator. And when I tested it using the same 10 features, here is what I actually found. For watermark, no, you can export 100% clean without any watermark. And for 1080p, it is fully supported. Auto caption, yes, but you have to download the pack and then you can now use it even when you're offline. Background remover, it can only remove the background of photos. It doesn't work on videos. Chroma key supported and works well. Keyframe, full control, every element can be animated. For transition and FS, optional level, you can get both smooth and customizable option. For speed control, it has full curve speed editing included. For export duration, no limits. You can export long videos without any issue. For layer stacking, you can use up to five layers maximum. So if you're doing a tutorial or cinematic edit or any content that needs full control, VN is just the beast on that. The thing that is remaining for it to rank number one is just it cannot be able to remove background of videos. And that's why it keeps sitting on number two on my list. Now the number one on my list is this particular app, Spring video editing app. It's not popular yet, but trust me, this app fully surprised me. After testing all these features I've been testing in other apps, here is what I actually found. For watermark, no, it can export without any watermark. For, for 1080p export, yes, it supports full HD export without any upgrade. For auto caption, yes, but it's after downloading the pack and it also works offline. Yeah, crazy. Background remover, yeah, it is included and it actually works well. Chroma key is fully supported on this app, Spring. For keyframes, you can annex any element easily. For transition and effects, all included and it works great. For speed control, yes, it's built in also. For export duration, it have no limits. It can export long form content without any issue. For layer stacking, it's unlimited. You can stack clips, overlays, text without any restriction up to the level that your phone can carry. Spring Video Editing app doesn't just complete the features. It actually beats most of the paid applications on this space. So if you're looking for a real CapCut replacement, I think Spring Video Editing app should be your next video editing app for now. So here's the summary of everything. So if you want full control on your edit, go with VN or Spring Video Editing app. If you're doing short form content or still want something faster, you cut and in short, still get the job done for you. And if you want fast editing or emergency editing, edit by Instagram and Video Guru is gonna be your next video editing app. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Please do what to click the subscribe button.